Hello, welcome back once again. I I want to show you a specific example of the GeoTranslator or the Ultran. Uh, for this software, um, I've seen that, discovered that when you go online to get the software, it's difficult to get to their site because I think it has been shut down, it has been, been damaged or something for a while. But in case you need the software, just inbox me privately and I'll, I'll push it across to you. Alright, so um, this is just a typical example of the Jude of the old translator. Um, you have all all geographic parameters available. In case you want to do any editing, you want to define your own parameter, you can just do this, and then possibly possibly um do define your parameters separately on your own. See, you just define your parameters on um on your own. You can just um edit parameters. Just choose any parameter and edit if you want to edit it. Okay. So simple as ABC. You can just do your editing of parameters here. See, not difficult. So you can also do your settings manually if you want to do manual um, settings. But I'll just leave everything fine on automatic because um, everything I need is already, is already set. So what I just have to do is that, for instance, I want to transform from um, UTM, UTM Universal Traverse Marketo System to NTM, which is Nigerian Traverse Marketo System. All I just have to do is to come here. I can also assign a code to it. Just come here, and then at this area, your, your area, you choose whatever or whatever you want. Is it Africa? Is it um, Europe? Is it Asia? For now, I want to use the world, and then under the world, you now have two international 1924 Otalik M um, sphere. I have the budget 84, which is what I want to use. I think funny enough, there's no WGS74. I think it's not there. And then I want to use the, my UTM zone is zone 32, my zone 32 or 31. And then I come here, over here, choose area, area, I choose Nigeria. You can as well choose Africa if you want to choose Africa. And then I think to show you, to show you different, different um zones. But funny enough, it doesn't have Africa here. It doesn't have Africa here. Now you can choose Nigeria here. As you can see, Nigeria comes up. Choose Nigeria and then Nigeria have to zone WS84 and the Clark 1880. So I use that. We commonly we call it normally Clark 1880 or 18 uh 1880. So so normally we have um, about six of them. We have a UTM. We have the East Belt, West Belt, and the Mid Belt. So uh, I'll choose to be in Belt because that's the zone I'm working on. So um uh, I you uh for here. If you do not specify the zone, you first of all specify the zone at the initial. If you don't, it's going to report an error. Like for instance, this. If you put in just the eastern and the northern alone, let's call this um, 3 1. Let's say that the 3 1 as the eastern, and then we'll call this 5 1 1 2 1 1 point whatever. And then if you transform, see? Now it automatically recognizes to be 30 zone 31 and then drops it for you. But normally, at, in, at some points, if you do not add the zone, sometimes it will post an error. For instance, I think this should work. Let me try this. This still reports the zone. So that's what it does normally. Well, I think it dropped the zone. And and the, the, the most interesting thing is you can flip between points. You can flip between this one and that one. So you can just come here, click on this. It takes this one over to this side, and then you can just edit this point. Okay, and that makes life very simple. That makes life very simple. So that's it. If you want this file, if you don't, if you need it, just inbox me. I can give it to you. You have all your security parameters available. Thank you so much. It may not be a perfect video. Uh, watch out for my next video on. Um, parcel subdivision made very simple and easy. Uh, that should come up in the next week by God's grace. Have a very lovely week. Thank you and bye bye.